Voices from the Mausoleum is brought to you by the You Run Podcast Network and yourunpodcast.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Voices from the Mausoleum. And welcome to the episode Found Footage Fridays. Hello. Friday, Friday. <laughs> That's Friday. all I got. <laughs> Uh, we're back talking found footage on a Friday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> on a Friday. Um, we, got, I got, we got a good one this week. Actually, really, I was, you know, pleasantly surprised with this one. This one surprised you, didn't it? Because about the first 10 minutes, I was like, this is going to be a do not finish. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Did you so really? I was very, like, uh, not sure. But then it just went. It, it went. I, I, no, I did. I uh, We are... Um, I am still, I was still doing, I'm wrapping up now because by the time this goes out, it'll be over. But I did my 31 days of found footage on Mostly Found, the new streaming service dedicated to horror found footage. And uh, that's where I found the one we're going to talk. I found this on Found. This where I'm going to, um, this uh, movie that we're going to talk about. So the one we have for today is the 2020 found footage movie, God Forsaken. Um, yeah, this one shocked the hell out of me. I'm going to be honest with you. A filmmaker returns to his hometown to attend a funeral for a childhood friend. While attending the wake, the woman seemingly rises from the dead. So this one did what I suggested. I don't know however many episodes ago we did. But I was <laughs> like, I give me a found footage film that starts crazy. And then it gets... Did, yeah. And I was like, all yeah. right, there's crazy stuff happening. Like, yep. you know, he's going to this funeral... You know, he's kind of like a, I don't know. I'm not like too into chat at this point, but I'm, but you know, he's cause he's just saying, you know, hi to people. He's kind of like, whatever, kind of vanilla, but then like, like, yeah, yeah. And like people are screaming right first. I was like, how did this church agree to film this, this movie? <laughs> oh yeah. I was thinking like to film in a church. I mean, I, it's not like a super like, it is a religious film, but like it's religious in a different sense. Um, but like, I was just shocked that like they were, you know, that this church agreed to. Because I'm assuming this is like a small, like they just got all these like people know town. to be in this movie. Mm-hmm. It's a small town, you know. But I'm sure minimal budget. Um, yeah. But the fact that they got the whole town involved in this movie, I was like, great. This is it felt it felt big. It, it did. felt probably bigger than it actually cost. Yeah, yeah. I and the the thing for me was. I did like the beginning. The The beginning had me, but then after that scene, when there, there's some other shots around the town at first that mm-hmm. I felt were like kind of cheesy. And I was like, Oh, I don't know. Like this could be really bad, but then it kind of started doing the core of the storyline. And I was just like, this is different. And then it just goes ham at the end. The ending is so yeah. good. And so I just, yeah, I watched it and I, you know, Going into, and I'll be honest with you, and and people can judge me for this if they want to, it is so hard not to judge a movie by the poster, and the poster is very cheesy to me. And so when I saw the poster, I was like, oh, come on. You the upside down, Lisa? Yeah. It just was too much. I just didn't like it. And so I was like, like I, I've seen yeah. this one before, and I skipped it because I didn't like the poster. The poster just wasn't haunting enough. It looked kind of silly. And so um, I was very pleasantly surprised by this one, though. I thought the acting was good. There were some really great, like, like emotional moments that I felt. Um, And I just loved the chaos of it all. Like, once it started going, like, it did not stop until roll credits. Like, it was so good. Um, Yeah. It was chaotic, but, like, not in a, like... I don't know what's going on found footage kind of way. No, 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 not at all. Very Just like what was happening. Planned chaos, but mm-hmm. it was so good. I yeah, no. And like mm-hmm. it reminded me a little bit. There was a um it's so and it's so funny too, because I can only imagine what the budget for this actually was. Probably pales in comparison. So there was this movie with Jeffrey Dean Morgan, mm-hmm. Negan from Walking Dead, yep. with like a girl who could all of a sudden do miracles. And very similar to this movie. And it was not good. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm assuming it's a bigger budget, right? But it's yeah. oh, like, yeah. like, like a, a low budget film like this could do compared to a big budget film that just has no heart in it, you know? I mean, yeah. And, and you know, when you really think about it, this was the stuff that is done is 
it's really simple enough. Like it's not, you know, you're not seeing over the top, like effects or over the top scares, like in a sense that it's like hard to, not that it's not hard to do. That's not the right way to say it. Cause I'm not a filmmaker. I have no idea. I'm sure it's very difficult, but in the sense of like, because it is a smaller budget, this is what they, they took what they had yeah. and made it work to levels that I just genuinely didn't expect. This is, yeah. I mean, they're not religion. filming like a big car crash scene. You know I mean? They're not filming yeah. these big, like explosions. No, that's, you know and that's I mean? exactly right. And it's very basic stuff, but it's done in such a way that it is unsettling. And there's some moments that are creepy. And then you're just like, holy yeah. shit. Like, you know, there's, there's those moments. And yeah, I, I just was pleasantly surprised by this. And I love the religious stuff. Like, that's just one of my, like, I, that's one of my favorite sub sub genres um and um I, I love like anything that challenges that kind of stuff i'm just always for so i thought yeah. it was really interesting that that was the direction it went in because we don't have a ton of found footage like that definitely not not a lot of good found footage that does that no i liked it a lot i thought it was yeah really yeah good. no i like that it also wasn't like an evil church or like just a typical possession. Yeah. The church is just a location. Like it it was, yeah, it was religious, but almost in like a, it ran it in its own way. Um, It wasn't following a very particular script or something. Right. Mm -mm. Um, Like you might see with some like possession films or something. Um, No, it was very cool. Uh, I mean, I I don't know how, I don't know how much to say without going into spoilers. Yeah. But I will say, yeah. Um, some of the performances I think were great. Particularly, mm-hmm. I really liked um, the friend Chris, and I thought uh, the other friend, um, the one in the wheelchair, was we had a very just unhinged, really cool performance. Yeah, um, I was. Everyone was good, but those two in yeah, particular yeah. had some really sh- big shining moments for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really liked the lady that played the church person. The the mom. Was she one of the moms? So it was, so Chad's mom was a, she worked at the church. She's the one that was there when they did the funeral, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Her. I thought she was great. I thought she, because her, like her, well, yeah, I I thought she was great. I really liked, um, I just, yeah, I actually genuinely thought the performances in this are really good. Like even the, even the like people that are on camera for like five seconds, like they sold it. Like they just, everyone committed. They Everyone really did. committed it to it. It felt like you were watching something as it was really happening. Um, what do you rate this? Oh, you know, I got so excited, I didn't even think of already. Um, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it gets an eight. I was, I mean, it, it maybe yeah. eight and a half. It gets like an eight and a half. Oh, that's it's, really it's good for you. There. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, I know that's really good for you. Yeah, it was eight and a half. It was really, I was excited the whole the whole time, which is like, yeah. you know, it's hard to do. Yeah, I think um, so. As I've been doing these for uh, 31 Days of Found Footage, I think I, I I've been reading them all that I've been watching, and I think I originally and I'm probably going to keep it at this is what it is. But thinking about it now, and this is the place I'm in, so I'm hoping it matches. <laughs> but um, I think I gave this a seven. I think I gave it a seven right. out of ten. I don't, and it's hard because I can't without nitpicking. There's not really a lot for me to say as far as what it needed to do to improve. But I did, I, I did really like it. A seven, given mm-hmm. some of the other found footage movies I've been watching, like it's really good. So sounds I, good. I, sounds I, good. And it's definitely one I would tell other people to go watch. Genuinely, you know, it's seventy on a test. That's a pass. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's an interesting way to look at it. But yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, do you want to jump into some spoilers? Yeah, let me throw up that spoiler banner. Yeah. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the whole thing of, like, her performing miracles out of the basement, which was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, her just being down there in the dark. Like, Everyone, yeah, every time they went down there, I was her. like... Yeah, you know, I know. Weird. Very hesitant. I was almost, like, watching it, like, what's going to happen? She's going to kill um, everybody. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, yeah, so this was very, again, yeah, very similar to that movie I was talking about, where some girl who's part of some Christian... Huh, okay. You know, some version of Christianity, whether Catholic, whatever, whatever. Oh, okay. There's so many sects through it. Um, who's just able to perform miracles? And so people, there's people who are on board who's like, this is of God. And there's people who are like, no, this is weird. This is like a false thing, whatever. And so there's always like a weird, interesting shift. Yeah. Um, and I sort of love that within this small town, you get a little bit of that. But, uh, you know, people yeah, slowly yeah. buy into it. And you're like, man, they're drinking yeah. the Kool-Aid. But it was convincing. 
Yeah, um, well, yeah, because I mean, obviously, like the big one out the gate is the wheelchair. Wheelchair, yeah. He's like, ah, you and know. Then, and I loved it too because I thought it was interesting that it took, it kind of like covered all kinds of things like physical, like things like that, sickness. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the girl with like the birthmark. Yeah, like they yeah. they really just covered like so many things, and the people like uh, yeah, the people the people who went down and got the miracles really sold so much of those scenes to me. But once what I did not expect was the full thing, which was I mean we knew as the viewers we were like you know like <laughs> we knew something wasn't quite what it needed to be but for them to essentially like all the people that she had done like come in contact with and it was like this this big deal of like all of a sudden everybody's going crazy and essentially like what they made me think of is like demon zombies because i didn't really because it felt like we yeah. were in a zombie apocalypse but they it were was, definitely possessed i think we were gear possessed it was definitely mm -hmm. sort of like demons on earth Book of Revelations, like yes, whatever the mom did to try to bring her daughter back, right? Because that's the in, whole thing, right? We don't learn that until right at the like end. that's the very end where they yeah. find like the botched like ritual, um, or I guess successful ritual. I mean, it was technically right? successful, but she says like, what is it? She said she said she wrote the note. What did it say? Something like, I did what the demon in the basement told me, or I can't remember. So she referenced was the demon in the like, house. The demon in the house told me to do this or something. I can't to remember. Get the daughter back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, she was essentially manipulated by whatever was whatever in the Whatever was house there. That was like, you'll get your daughter back, do this thing. And then, which actually just turned out to be like, okay, she comes back possessed, possibly the Antichrist of some kind. I don't know. Because then she's getting everyone to agree to kill themselves or die or kill each other or whatever. Um, which, again, leaves bodies to be possessed. Um, yep. Sort of like... A, which is what happens. Yeah. Right. It was just sort of like a mockery, I guess, of like the resurrection, right? Of Jesus. It's supposed to sort of be like everyone's resurrecting. Um, but as demons. As demons, um, yeah. So then it, but then, it, yeah. But then, you know, if you kind of forget that part, it does feel like you're in this, like, now it's a zombie movie. <laughs> it does feel very zombie. But it's like, but it's great because it's like nighttime and they're running in and out of houses and they're trying to get to safety and they don't know what to do. And like, there's that scene, there's that one scene that I watched it a couple of times. Like I, I went back a couple seconds to revisit it. But there's like that one scene where they're in the basement. Mm -hmm. And they've got that, it's like a shot down into one, I don't know what the big things are that are on the sides of the walls. I can, I don't know. But, and then somebody just like crawls out from behind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the, f I was like. There's some good shots in it There was sure. some really good stuff like that. And I, I love that, you know, the, the, this kind of demonic version of her or whatever this is supposed to be like didn't talk too much that's like one mm -hmm. of my biggest bugaboos about like possessed people is like don't make them talk because they always end up saying stupid stuff and it makes them not scary right but she like had yeah. just the right amount of monologue and or i mean of dialogue rather where she had just the right amount of things to say where it worked for the scene but it wasn't yeah. so over the top that it took you out of it you know and i just oh god we need more possession horror like that stop well, making yeah. these things talk too much less is more um yes. do more like it's more, more about like body performance than i think it is like in effect, makeup effects yeah. yeah i would agree with that um because yeah like it's like yeah like you said that sometimes it always just ends up coming off silly um when they try to be taunting you know so you're just like who it literally and i say this all the time it literally sounds like a child that was given permission to cuss that's what it sounds like and they yeah. just they say all these things that don't make any sense because they have no idea because they don't normally do that, you know what I mean? Yeah, most, most they tend to try to go for shock value, and it's not really like it just it know. just sounds stupid. Yeah, it's always just ends up being like a version of like the yeah, your the mother demons, stuff from Exorcist, I, you know? Yeah, I mean? like, and I don't I don't really believe in that. But if demons were real, I guarantee you they're not making sexual jokes and say like I guarantee you they're not doing that. Like that is no, not a no. thing. It's about going for the gut, right? It's not sure. about being shocking. It's about like I'm going to taunt you. That makes you like question yeah. everything about your life. I'm not yeah. just saying all these things just to say them, right? Just to say them. It's dumb. I hate it. Yeah. But anyway, but no, I I thought all of that stuff was handled really well in this. I loved the my God, the scene when the girl, the main the other, the female friend, um shoot. was it I have a list. Is it Katie? Was it Katie or Nicole? Katie. I, don't know, I have like yeah, there's no picture on the arm to be. So I don't know. But the one yeah. that went with them. 
the one that went with them, the other main female lead, I would say, when she gets taken out, I was like this. I was like, that scene was so brutal and fast. Like it happened like yeah. it was so fast. And I, and, it, and I felt like obviously in most cases, most cases we go into found footage expecting everyone to die because that's how you find the footage, right? Everybody's dead. Yeah. Right. And so, but like for some reason that scene caught me off guard. It's probably because of all of the chaos and moving mm -hmm. and running and it's dark and there's noises and there's all this stuff happening. But like when that happened, when she went down, I was like, dang, like that, that yeah. scene to me was particularly brutal. Well, the, like it really wasn't like a hundred percent paint by numbers. Like, yes, you assume like everyone, you know, is going to meet some yes, demise yes. or whatever, but yeah. it wasn't sort of like beat for beat kind of like a copy paste it did sort no, of feel like it was following its own rhythm which i thought was refreshing and then it led yeah. you to feel like like just taken out like by surprise yeah it was good well i think it's because it makes you forget about the formula because like to your point it does do things differently mm -hmm. and i mean like like we talk all the time about how every like a, a vast majority of found footage movies they all start out hella slow it takes forever to get to the point and then the ending is just insane and and that works sometimes but this like started out with a bang yeah. and so there wasn't even though they still had to rebuild up the tension after that part's kind of over with um and they're trying to figure out what's going on and their friends helping people whatever right like yeah. there is kind of that rebuilding of tension but to start like that I think was the probably the perfect choice given this type of story. I think so. And they had they had a rebuild attention, but they didn't have to start conflict from scratch. There was always conflict yep. um, regarding what was happening, right? Like, how yep. do, should we find her? Should we interview these people? Should we? There was always something that they were questioning, yeah. like about what they were doing, right? Um, yep. And not everyone agreed. And it wasn't again some stupid. I remember you bringing up it wasn't some stupid love triangle for no reason. God, um, no. They there were was genuine, conflict around yeah. like organic stuff as it was, so it, yeah. it kept you engaged. Yeah. Um. In you know what, even if you know before everything hit the fan. Yeah. No, I totally agree. I think, and it's and to your point about it being organic, everything felt very realistic to me. Mm -hmm. Their reactions did not feel forced for the sake of making a movie. Their in interactions, um, you know, like as or their um their emotions as things start getting really bad and scary all felt very natural, very realistic yeah. to me. And I think that's probably a testament to not only the writing and directing, but also the acting as well, or the, you know, the actors that were involved. Um, because I think that they just, they really sell it to you and you're just like, yeah, I buy this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 No, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I don't think of any other points. No, overall. Yeah. hundred percent recommend that this was on this found. Was good. It's on found. Yeah, Which is a hundred percent free with ads. Um, it's no worse than Tubi, so hundred percent worth checking it out. Um, and um, yeah, I, really I don't remember that. too many commercial interruptions. Actually, were there that as many as two? No, there was like I almost feel like there's there was not less as many. No, it's it's not. They do happen a lot, but it's not. It's I would say it's two thirds as bad as Tubi. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a step down. You can also subscribe and, and it's just like another, any other streaming service. You can pay for it, not have ads, but mm -hmm. my, but one of their biggest things is they wanted everybody to have access to it. They didn't want to be a money yeah. only streaming service, which I greatly appreciate because I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to work in the found footage genre, like that's indie, like most of it, you know, like what 5% yeah. of it is big production companies. The rest is all indie. So I mean, there's no way, no way you're going to get someone to agree to pay like nine ninety nine a month. To or watch like, like, no, it's just not realistic. So I love their take on that. I think that was really great. But yeah, you can watch uh, God Forsaken on found. And if you are a found footage fan in general, please download this app because first of all, it runs insanely smooth. It works a lot better than a certain other bigger streaming services app that I cannot get to work on my phone and haven't been able to for like a freaking year. So, um, but no, it's great. And, and this was, this was a very pleasant surprise. I genuinely did not expect to like this as much as I did. Yeah, no, this was great. And you know, I'm always excited when we, we yeah, cause found footage, like you never know sometimes what you're going to get. Um, you are not lying. Yeah, and you know, and but you know what? I'm never, I never knock anyone for trying. Make your movies, <laughs> Fair make enough, them, yeah. do them. Can't yeah. come, can't promise I'm going to love them all. <laughs> yeah, no, but sure. I encourage everyone to follow your dream, make your movie. Yeah, and then you know what? If it ends up not being super great or not well received, learn from it and keep making them anyway. 
Isaac to Rodriguez has like 5,785 found footage, found footage movies and they're not all great, but he's got some killer concepts. And every time he makes a movie, you can see the growth in his writing and directing. So, I mean, sure. you know, it is, you know, it is what it is, but, but anyway, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap up uh, our thoughts on God Forsaken. Again, you can watch it on Found. Highly recommend it. Was It was really good. Very pleasant surprise. Especially if you like religious horror that's like possession-y type stuff. I think it can be be really good. But um, anyway, well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on this episode of Found Footage Fridays. We hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Enjoy your week, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.